The city of Pasadena is preparing for close to a million people at this year's Rose Bowl Parade. Georgia fans, we're giving you a look at what to expect when you land. Channel 2's Nicole Carr is in downtown Los Angeles, one on one with the Pasadena Fire Department, as they anticipate a lot of campers on New Year's Eve. Let's take you straight to the main corridor of that iconic Rose Bowl parade. This is Colorado Boulevard in downtown Pasadena. And for the past three weeks, city crews have been putting up those grandstands. Now, you do need tickets to sit in those seats. But like we told you this week, the city is encouraging hundreds of thousands of people to camp out along the parade route because it helps with crowd control. You don't need to drive into the game. You can walk straight on over to the stadium. Okay, with that come a couple of warnings from the Pasadena Fire Department. Well, oftentimes they'll bring uh, warming fires. And so we allow warming fires, but they have to be in a professionally manufactured barbecue pit. And it has to be uh, at least one foot off of the ground and at least 24 feet away from any structures. On Channel 2 Action News at 5, we have some other bits of advice, some things they don't want you doing along the parade route. So some advice for Georgia fans who are heading here this week. And yes, we do see you, Georgia fans. We know you were on that plane with Richard Elliott and Chris Jose as they landed here in Los Angeles yesterday. Um, so we are catching up with you as we head on out to Pasadena. We'll see you on Channel 2 Action News starting at 5. In downtown L.A., Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action news.